So I just arrived in Copenhagen. Uh, it's about 10 in the morning and I've been traveling for about 16 hours or something along those lines. Now, I would have thought Hong Kong was the place that was sort of throwing me a bit, but actually, so far it's been here. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it might be that there's actually a lot less English here than in Hong Kong, which is strange. Um, the currency is quite different, it's not dollars. Um, and also, everything's just so beautiful and yeah, it's not busy and I'm in the centre of town so um, as I'm walking around there's not a lot of traffic which I probably should have expected because it's a very public uh, transport kind of a city uh, but also there's not many people walking around either so yeah uh, that's my initial take on Copenhagen um, the weather's a bit ho-hum so maybe that's not helping uh, and it is a weekday so I suppose people have to go to work um, already made my first foreign mistake um, I bought uh, a bottle of water thinking it was still and it was sparkling so I know it's not the end of the world but it, you know, probably should use my, um, my language converter for that one. But never mind, you never know, I'm sure it'll get better as I go. Alrighty, uh, I'll see what the rest of the day brings. So earlier today my friend Alice told me there were these little um, like trampoline things near the coast and I didn't think I'd better find it because I thought I'd better get to a hotel but it turns out not till around 3. So uh, he found them. So uh, I just wanted to do a quick update because um, I just kind of wanted to do a, I guess a wrap up. So I um I tried to stay awake but I didn't really plan it all that well and I just was tired so ended up going to sleep for a little bit from about 5 p.m. which was probably not a great idea but never mind. Uh um one thing that's been interesting that I thought I would mention is because obviously um Danish uses similar characters to English. I'm walking around and I can understand some things, but not enough. So, for example, if I'm at a restaurant, I can understand some key words, but I don't necessarily have any idea what I'm buying. So, that's been pretty interesting, and I kind of feel guilty for talking in English, which is probably a bit dumb, considering that most people here at least know a few words. Um, but that was, that was today's challenge was just sort of trying to get food and, and get, um, connected and things like that. So that's been good. Uh, fortunately the person at my hotel uh, who was at the front desk is really, really nice. So that helped. Um, yeah, feeling a bit me right now. I guess I'll attempt sleeping again soon. Alrighty. Bye.